Hello and Assalamualaikum. This is an example of Romberg integration, uh, the other special condition. Actually, this example is based on the previous example in a previous video. So if you haven't uh, seen the previous example, you can click there uh, to watch the previous example. So in that previous example, we work out um, two improved integrals using Romberg integration where we combine um, uh, approximation using trapezoidal rule which has the estimate error of OH square. So when we apply Romberg integration on 2 OH square, we will get OH to the power of 4. And the previous example as well, we apply another Romberg integration uh, to 2 approximation uh, to get another um, improved approximation with the estimate error of OH to the power of 4. So now we have two integrals uh, at the uh, error of estimate OH to the power of 4 which is IL equal to 1.367467 and we have the other one IM equal to 1.623467. So if we apply again Romberg integration to these two integrals we will get an improved estimate uh, with an estimate of error OH to the power of 6. So let's say the IL okay, um, is the combination of one segment and two segments trapezoidal rule and the IM is the improved integral from the combination of two segments and four segments trapezoidal rule. Okay. So as the, the approximation IL has error OH to the power of 4, so actually it is the results of the combination of this first two rows, alright, and the other integral which is IM, okay, the Romberg integration that combined between the final two rows. So we are going to combine now IL and IM, it's like the, the second step of Romberg integration. Since the segment size H4 is half of the H2 and these two integrals have error of OH to the power 4, then the approximation can be written as this. Then we substitute those values. Okay, We will have I equal to 1.640533 with the error of OH to the power of 6. Let's check the true error 0 and the percentage true error is 0%. So you can see that how much it has been improved uh, when we apply Romberg integration uh, in the second step or we can say it as second step by combining the OH to the power of 4 which we will get OH to the power of 6 estimate of error. That's all for the Romberg integration exercise for today. Thank you very much.